Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, today I want to ask a question. Do you think Jamaica has the worst drivers or the most indisciplined drivers on the road? You guys have seen the videos. For those who live here or visit, you've seen the way people operate on the roads. So, let me know what you think. Leave your comments in the section below especially persons who visit Jamaica but they live overseas let us know what you think about the driving in Jamaica when you compare it to other countries because I, I sometimes you, can't, you, you just don't understand why can't people stop at a red light why is everybody in such a rush i mean i just don't get it the government has this these new traffic laws but i don't think they're doing anything to stop the indiscipline on the roads now the government announced recently that the number of fatal crashes has declined so that's good but it's still way too high and when you have a society where people don't stop at a red light I mean and there is no consequence because unless the police see you the cameras are not working the camera system where they're supposed to issue tickets by the camera it's not up and running yet I have no idea why because they said it was they were waiting on the law to pass now the law has passed and they still haven't issued they still have not started to issue tickets via the camera now you've seen the videos where people just stop in the road do what they want to do stop and park come out go do what they want to do running a red light is just one such thing people park anywhere i mean it's bad i drive on the roads and i'm telling you this is the worst i've ever seen the discipline on the roads or the worst so guys leave your comments in the section below let us know what you think all right we are on trafalgar road heading towards halfway tree so we're going to turn from trafalgar road on to hope road and then down to halfway tree And also, if anybody has any update as to why they have not started issuing tickets via the camera, let us know because I haven't been able to, to... They said there was some... Last thing I heard was that there were the system was not working. But... I don't... I mean, this is not new technology. It exists that's being used all over the world so it shouldn't be that hard to set up but nonetheless we'll keep you guys updated All right, that massive building that you're looking at straight ahead, that is the Rogers. That's going to be 20 floors, a residential building. And once it passes 17 floors, it will be the tallest building in Jamaica. The Rogers, when completed, it's going to be 20 floors. But currently the tallest building is the Jamaica Pegasus, which is 17 floors. So the Rogers will soon pass that but you won't be the longest building for long because you have the ascent which is also under construction that will be 27 floors
can see some police officers hard at work. So this is the intersection of We're on Trafalgar Road, straight ahead is Waterloo Road Turn left we take Hope Road down to Halfway Tree And turn right we take Hope Road up to Ligony He's in the left lane and look at that, the police drawing right by. Alright guys, thanks for taking the tour with us today. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.